welcome back to my channel um as you can see by the title you can tell what i'm about to do i can't really talk too much or too loud because as you can see i'm in my mom's closet which means i'm in my mom's room and i'm gonna be pranking her basically making it seem like i signed in her up for naked and afraid this may not be a long prank but i'm just trying to keep up the content because it's a lot of people rooting for me i'm rooting for myself so y'all stay tuned i'll be right back you know what i'm gonna try to do a commercial break since she won't even know what the fuck that is she won't even know what i'm doing before i do it because as y'all can hear she on the phone running her mouth so i'll be right back Y'all already know what I'm about to say. Y'all know it wouldn't be my videos if I didn't do a commercial break. If y'all know what's about to happen, sit your ass down. Wait, before you sit down, go get some popcorn, go get some wine, some candy, some something. Lay your ass back in the bed and sit still. Y'all, tell me why one day me and my sister was younger, right? We were outside. I was on my skates. I can't I can't remember what Toya was doing, but she had some Doritos. Bitch, why the fuck I snatched them from her while I was on the skates? I was laughing about how I snatched them from her, and I was chewing the Doritos. Bitch, why the fuck I started choking? This bitch, while I'm choking, was like, that's what the fuck you get. Well, she didn't say that's what the fuck you get, but she just was like, that's what you get for taking them. While I'm choking. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this story, but I mean, we all grown now, right? Back in my day, we was little hood rats or whatever. My neighborhood and another neighborhood. My neighborhood, we used to meet around this other neighborhood, right? There was some houses on the other side of the neighborhood we used to meet at, right? Why the hell we took it upon ourselves to jump the fence, hop the fence, go through the fence, and was running through this neighborhood on bike, on foot, and just, I don't know if we got cars, but I know we definitely got windows. We was fucking that shit up for a long ass time. Why was we doing that? We don't know. I feel like we had fun. We had no business doing that because if somebody did that to my house, as grown adults, I'd be pissed if I call. But <clears throat> nobody from Royal Bell Prix can say that their childhood was not lit. We had fun. When I was like seven or eight, right? My oldest sister used to live in Virginia or Richmond. I think it was Richmond. Richmond sound familiar. Me and my sister went to her house one day and then I don't know where we heard all this commotion. Why the fuck this pregnant lady is getting jumped so bad? Like mace, they macing her. I don't know what she did. They violated that lady. I don't know why they did that, but that shit, like, to this day, like, little things always, like, make me remember that situation. And I remember one time, like, I think my sister's door was already open, and they was whooping her all the way into the front of my sister's door or whatever. I understood why my sister didn't break it up, because it was just us, like, little kids and her in the house. Like, what she look like breaking up a fight like that? I've never seen colored mace a day in my life. They had colored mace. They had a whole bunch of shit just fucking this lady up. Like, like now that I'm older, like, that shit makes me feel so bad for her. Like, I hope she's doing okay. I hope that baby's doing okay. I hope nothing happened to her while, you know, nothing happened to the baby while that stuff was happening. But that shit was scary. Like, I don't know why people in the hood rather look at shit instead of, like, stopping it and breaking it up. Maybe because they ain't got shit else to do. But that was a horrible ass view. Like, as a little tiny girl, it's like, I would just remember being so scared for that lady. Like, wanting to help her, but it's like nothing i could do she was crazy all of these stories happened when i was younger so that's why i keep saying when i was younger but anyways so when i was younger i went to my good good friend house i always used to go to her house or whatever and if you're watching this bitch you know exactly what i'm talking about there was this nigga named bobo i cannot for the life of me i can't remember this dude full first name or whatever he was like the tallest dude out there and we was all around the same age range well i think so maybe him and a few other people out there was maybe like three maybe two three four years older than us i don't know but we just walk around the neighborhood y'all why the fuck bobo like it was this random ass cat right this nigga took it upon himself to boot the cat y'all like and i'm not just talking like get out of here like you know showing it no he like threw his leg back boom kicked the cat when i tell you that cat was flying in the air that bitch was like Rah! like why would you do that like what the fuck is wrong we was laughing but in the back of my head i'm like this nigga's crazy I'm gonna really tell y'all the real reason why I don't YouTube. They sensitive. Disclaimer: If you're under 21, I don't condone any partying. If you know what I mean by partying, drinking, and smoking, please do not drink or smoke under age. So I remember when we was smoking and we was hot boxing a car. I don't know how long we was in there. We was in the middle of Strathmore Field, hot boxing our car. It was like five of us. Why the police? 
came down there when the windows came down bitch all you seen was just smoke come out of the car he was a cool police officer but at the same time he probably should have did more homework and who the fuck was in the car how old everybody was because baby we all was underage <laughs> i think the only person that was overage was the person who was driving the car we was underage and we was he was just like get out of here don't ever let that happen again he was a black dude can't even remember what this man looked like i'm so damn we drive and we drive we going up to past like belfry square to get to the blockbuster that used to be in there you trying to look for me? Yeah. Can, can I can I do it with you? You do what with me? To talk. What do you want to talk about? Want to put these on? No, they're too hot. Okay. Come on. Where are we going? What are we talking about? It's a story. What story? Um, little piggies. Um, this we're not talking about little piggies in here. What's about the time? There's a little piggy walking down the street. Fox came. Okay, y'all. This is not fear. He's going to bed. Say bye. Bye. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, go. Go. Anyways, to the blockbuster that used to be where that. I think that's a. I don't think it's a seafood. Maybe it's an auto zone now. I don't know. So, bitch, the driver was so that he swerved, but we almost went through a gate, bitch. Instantly, I started panicking because I was like, this nigga almost. When I tell you swerved into a gate, I mean like went into on the other side of the road. That type shit. So he swerved, almost hit the gate, oncoming traffic. And bitch, instantly I panicked. Everybody was laughing, obviously, because we are out of our minds. Really, there was a voice in my head that was just like, bitch, you almost just died. And you're laughing. So I was like, get me the fuck out of this car. Get me the fuck out of this car. My sister and his doobie's car, brother, got, we walked in the CVS. I needed water. I was just, like, panicking because I was like, we almost just did And we're all laughing. What the fuck is going on? After that, after that day, after that night, I was never the same chiefing. I can't even tell you how long it, it's been since I touched any type of. It's crazy. Kids, don't do that. And here comes the bullshit. Next slide. Good. <laughs> the baby, you're stupid. Come on, baby. <laughs> Try to lay down my knees for me. Basically, we just gotta tell the people, like. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what? I'm not telling the motherfuckers about my life. So, basically, we gotta tell them, like, our names, like, where we're from. And then. From the hood. You're from the hood. I'm not from the fucking hood. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, it's hot in this bitch, too. <laughs> Okay, um, my name is James C. Chase, and this is my mom. <laughs> Say your name. Barbara. Mom, I have to start it over again. I have to edit it out. Why? Because I have to say, you have to say, like, your name is Barbara Chase. Why do you? Come on, baby. Do it. Okay. Hi, um, and you know this is a show that I signed us up for. And they emailed us back. And what do you mean? We have to send in the, the tape. So I'm telling these people about my motherfucking business? <laughs> no. You're so, lying. I'm not, I'm not. Hi, everybody. My name is James C. Chase, and this is my mother. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mother. Barbara Chase. Okay, so, thank you, Naked and Afraid, for some, <laughs> for reaching back out to us. Um, we're so excited, Naked and Afraid. Um... So basically, you guys wanted to know what we did every day on a daily basis. Are you okay? Yeah. So, um, our fitness, what we do every day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I gotta pee. <laughs> so, I get up at 4.30 in the morning and I run 17 miles. <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> wow, we will laugh through this shit all night. All right, go ahead. And then I eat carrots for breakfast and probably. <laughs> and then, no, for real, mom, you gotta be serious. And then. <laughs> I don't even 
eat them fucking carrots. What the hell? And then my son also runs with me. <laughs> Mom, you gotta be serious. White lie. You gotta be serious. So. My four-year-old son, he runs with me the 17 miles with me. Mm. And he's a strict vegan. Like, he doesn't eat no cheese. Um, you, you know, a lot of kids, they don't like pizza. And I'm serious, he cannot stand pizza. Um, <laughs> Mom, you have to get serious. Like, these people are watching us. I know it is, but... <laughs> So, um, and then when I get home from work, we go run another 17 miles. <laughs> mom, come on. Um, so my mom's fitness journey. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> my mom's fitness journey, she actually just moved to a new apartment with the gym, but she runs a lot of laps. <laughs> She runs, she used to do track, so she pretty much still has all her speed. Um, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> she has all of her speed. Like a turtle. <laughs> She is super fast, like, she's super fast. She's, um, if you guys ever seen the movies Incredible, The Sun, she's, she's super fast. Like, she does jumping jacks in the morning. <laughs> I wish I thought. <laughs> Thank you for picking us because, um, yeah, we're ready to go on Naked and Afraid. I think we'll be able, what? Naked and Afraid? Yeah. Who's supposed to do that? Me and you. Oh, hell no. Why not? I ain't you know, you know, naked and afraid. Don't mind her. So I think we'll be ready and... Um, you be ready. Not me. Why not? I'm not going out there with no clothes on. In the fucking desert with all them shit, bugs and shit. No. Why not? Hmm. Okay. You gotta eat that shit? No. There's nothing out there. I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> hell. I'm not going out there with all them damn wild animals. Fuck around, eat my ass up. Snakes. Could be anything out there. Are you prepared for uh, naked and afraid? Nope. How about, are you gonna prepare? I'm going out there with my fat ass with no clothes on. At least they ain't gonna cover this shit up. Hell <laughs> <laughs> no. But they picked us though. I don't care. We're not gonna go, they're gonna get us money. How much? A like hundred thousand. Shit, that ain't enough for me to go out there and show my naked ass out there. It's too fucking much to cover up. I still ain't going. I think she's gonna go. Don't mind. Fuck her. I'm not. <laughs> I ain't going. She can hold her breath underwater. She doesn't drink any alcohol. <laughs> We're prepped and ready to go. Um, Baby, then you know fucking well. My knees is bad as fuck. My back is fucked up. And I ain't trying to go out there and get killed. I don't know why you lying on camera. What am I lying about? I can't run with shit. She just turned vegan a week ago. She doesn't eat no meat, um, no dairy. No, nothing. Why all you lying these fucking people? I don't, I'm not no fucking me. I eat chicken, steak, pork. <laughs> you want to open an icebox and show them what's in there? Um, I think we're going to have a lot of energy because we don't have meat in our system. Um, this is just from beans. I just had spare ribs. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm not no meat in my system. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great experience. Um... <laughs> Give me the check first. <laughs> Thank you guys for reaching out to us. We are very appreciative. We cannot wait to be on camera, naked. This is a dream come true. Um, as you can see, my mom looks very excited. <laughs> it's like, no, this is a prank. I already know. How you know? Who the fuck going out there in the desert? Nothing to eat, eating all types of shit. Fuck naked and afraid. <laughs> I ain't going. I'm gonna watch everybody else on TV with that shit. I ain't going out there that bullshit. All right, y'all. Try it again. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.
you already know what I'm about to say. And like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you know every time I'm on your screen. And we're out. You wanna say something, Mom? Hell no. Just tell them bye. We're out. Nothing.